welcome Sabine Putz. Um, I think you are R&D manager and COO of a famous Austrian company, Solid, and you are one of the, well, most experienced large-scale solar thermal turnkey suppliers, turnkey solar thermal system suppliers. Your company is very active on this conference to hold speeches. I think you have two speeches and two posters. What are your key messages? Yes, the key messages are yeah, the better, the better, the better. We heard it already yesterday from the Stan Spanish, uh, Spanish guy, the Danish guy, Jan Erik Nielsen. If you go to bigger installations, you will have more efficiency and you will come down with the production costs and with the overall system costs of solar thermal, large scale solar thermal installations. And so, most important message is to get it bigger, to make it bigger and maybe also to do some more ESCO project, that means energy service company project, so that there will be no initial costs for the, for the client. And the ESCO is covering these costs for financiation and construction and operation. And so, um, yeah, it would be more easier to install more plants all over the world with such kind of projects where the client only have to pay the consumed heat and not to pay for the installation. So you mentioned that, I think, is this a new trend going to like gigawatt installation almost, this size of solar thermal capacity? Yes, of course, in Denmark we have seen this enormous um, improvement and engagement to get up to installations up to 2,000 square meters. And so also in Austria we have planned such an installation um, to cover 20% of the of the demand of the of the heat demand of the two biggest uh, of the second biggest city in Austria it's in Graz and so yeah it's a development which started in Denmark and then spread over all over the world also China is doing such big installations and I think I think gigawatt systems are not far away very nice. I think you still need some research in this uh, field. I heard that you just started a new task that means a new international research group within the solar heating and cooling program to ex uh, especially cover these topics on larger installations. Of course, um, there was a former task, the task 45, which also has been has dealt with large scale solar thermal installations with the focus on solar district heating. And now we are setting up on this task with large scale solar district heating and large scale solar district cooling. And uh, we will start, um, the scope is about um, to start at open 5 megawatt installations up to gigawatt installations which have to be described and characteristic. And also the modular conception of such big installation is, is a very big focus in this project. And yeah, what's the problem or what has to be overcome are the heat losses. The bigger the installation, the, the more heat losses you have. And so you have to ha uh, have a look on and the development on minimizing these losses coming from hydraulic and piping. So is uh, China involved as the largest market in this uh, area? Yes, they are involved and also the uh, company Sunrain, which is the company uh, who, uh, who has done the largest installations in China, is directly involved in this task. So what is your um, main objectives in this task? Um, yeah. The financiation of such big installation, um, the integration in district heating networks, because you already know it's important for solar thermal to have low return temperatures in the, in the district heating network, of the district heating network, and so these are the main parts. So I think it's open for everybody to join? Yeah, open for everybody. So you just look for solid and you find Sabine Putz and you will contact you to whoever wants to get involved as well, industry as research part. Thank you very much for the interview. I appreciate it a lot. <laughs> Thank you.